Hello, today we're going to have a look at the Autodesk Construction Cloud along with the desktop connector. File management and sharing can be a little tricky at first, especially if you use an online cloud storage system. Luckily, Autodesk has developed a solution to help streamline file management, and the solution is called the desktop connector. If we have a look at the ACC, or Autodesk Construction Cloud, we've got our file section here. So this is all done online. We've got two areas, one for the field, where everybody can actually gain access to these files. And then we have project files. Project files are set out that only certain people have access to certain folders, keeping your own work in your own location, along with a shared area as well that everybody should have access to. Firstly, we'll need to install the desktop connector. And this can be done within your side, your Autodesk account. If you go to the products and services section, in here we can do a search. So select the magnifying glass, select search, and then what we're going to do is search for desktop. The only thing that should come up is the desktop connector. And here we can download. Once we've downloaded this, and then run that for the first time, we'll be asked to log in. And this will give us access to the hubs and the projects on those hubs that we have access to through our login. So under this PC, we'll see Autodesk Docs, and these are the hubs. Now, some of these hubs may well be the older BIM 360, and some the ACC. Now, when we're inside Autodesk Construction Cloud, we'll see all of the projects we've got access to, including the BIM 360. They may well be on a separate hub. So here we need to choose the correct hub for the project that we're after. So let's select the project we're interested in. And we'll do exactly the same in File Explorer. Let's go to the Docs area and you'll see the two areas which you'll get in every project for the field and project files. Let's go into project files and we'll see the folder structure as we've set up. Now we can see all of the folders because we're a project admin. Generally people would only see certain folder areas. So let's go to the building systems. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new folder. So just right hand click in the file explorer and create the new folder. So in this case, I'll just create a fire security folder for our building systems. So once I've created that, it will take a few seconds to appear inside the cloud or the ACC. So if we just refresh that, we'll see straight away our fire security folder is there. Now in here, we can actually just drag and drop whatever files we need, or we could actually save into that location. Obviously no files at this point as well, but we could either do the upload when we're logged into the ACC. We can also then have a look at the folder structure for architecture. And we'll get exactly the same folders and files within there. Now, if I right hand click inside File Explorer, we get a little menu here. Open will actually open that file locally. View online means it will actually open up the ACC. We can also do things like lock. And you'll also notice there is actually a delete option. This is only available if we have the correct uh, rights for that project in that folder. So in this case, we've actually got a status here called synced. This basically means we've actually opened this file already and it's, it's saved in cache locally. Now, in this case, if we needed this file also, we could either open it or we can actually just sync. Now, what this means is we don't have to be online to be able to gain access to that. It'll actually transfer those files for us. So we can then go off on site, use our file explorer and gain access to these files. As soon as we're then connected to Wi-Fi or a, 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 a cellular connection, it will actually we can actually sync that back to the cloud. Let's have a look inside Revit now. How does this work inside Revit? So in this case, if I want to open one of those files, all I've got to do if I go up to this PC, there's our area Autodesk Docs. 
there's our folder, our, our, our hubs and our projects. So we'll go to the same project, and in this case, we'll go back to architecture, and we're choosing this. So we don't need to log into the Autodesk Construction Cloud to gain access to any of the files that are in there. And likewise, the same as we're opening a file here, we can actually upload or save that information to the cloud as well. And that's just using the desktop connector. So for those who want to gain access to the files from File Explorer, use Desktop Connector.